All right, today I'm going to walk you through some really helpful keyboard shortcuts that you can use on a Google Chromebook. Things that we're going to be looking at today, we're going to be looking at how to access the history of your web browser, how to reopen a recently closed tab, how to use immersive full screen. So let's get started. One of the best ways to access these keyboard shortcuts, a very, very simple Google search of Chromebook keyboard shortcuts. Uh, and then I have this one here, support.google.com. We click on that one, and it gives us lots and lots of Chromebook keyboard shortcuts to use. So I'm going to teach you some of these and how you can use them. So the first one that we're going to look at is how to access the web browser's history. Uh, the first way that I'm going to show you how to do that is through the settings up here to customize and control your Google Chrome. If you click up here, we have our history here, and it will show you all of the history that has been on that device recently. Uh, this is especially helpful if you accidentally close out your Chrome web browser, oops, and you had several tabs open. Simply go back to Chrome, open it right back up. If I go to the history again, it's going to show me that I had two tabs open. And if I click that, it's going to reopen those for me very, very simply. Uh, now, on the keyboard, if you wanted to push it on the keyboard to access the history, you press Control H at the same time. Once we have Control H pressed, it brings up our entire history, reaching back quite a ways here. Okay, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back, and all of it is time stamped for you as well. And this does cross over multiple devices. So if you were searching through Chrome on another device, it will still show that history no matter what device you're on, which is really helpful. Um, another one that is really helpful, I'm going to close that tab here, and then I'm going to close this tab over here that I have open, a little Facebook window over here. I'm going to close that one. See you later, Facebook. Okay, so here it is, Control-Shift-T. And when we press that, it opens up the most recently closed tab. Uh, and in this case, it happened to be Facebook. Oh, wow, look at this. Valley View K-12 Art. Hey, they have a Facebook page. That looks really neat. What kind of stuff did they put on here? Oh, wow, time lapses in an art classroom. That's really nice. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, right. Some video links to YouTube. Okay. Oh, look at this. Slideshows, pictures taken in class of kids making art. Yeah, right. Here's some more of it. They probably do this pretty regularly. I think I might become friends with uh, this art teacher on Facebook. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on. So let's talk about immersive full screen. Um, immersive full screen, what it's going to do for us is these tabs up here are going to vanish or at least appear to on your screen. So immersive full screen. So along the top row of buttons, we push Immersive Full Screen. It's one simple button, and it gives you a complete full screen of your web browser. Now, the tabs look like they've disappeared, but in fact, if you put your cursor up near the top, there it pops up back again. Okay, But this is a way that you can have your entire screen devoted to your web browser without the business of the tabs being up at the top. But remember, you can always access your tabs coming back up here. Now, if you ever wanted to get your web browser out of immersive full screen, it's very simple. You push the very same button right along the top here, and it takes you out of immersive full screen. And then you can see all of the tabs that are open. And there it is, some quick and easy ways to deal with your Chromebooks. Thanks.